Hi everyone, this is Matt Weber with Allurium Technology. A lot of people have been asking us to create a NeoPixel accelerator block, and now we have. Got a video here that shows a couple of the key advantages of using hardware acceleration for your NeoPixel control. In these demos, we're going to use Adafruit's 5x8 NeoPixel shield. Sitting on top of an accelerate board, accelerate is a drop-in replacement for an Arduino Uno. So these demos are going to run twice. First with a standard Adafruit NeoPixel library, exactly as it would be run on an Arduino Uno. And then we'll run taking advantage of the accelerator block available in, a, in the accelerate board. When an Arduino is communicating to a NeoPixel array, it cannot do anything else. Interrupts are disabled, and that can affect your communication to peripherals. It also affects the timer that's running in the background, keeping track of the milliseconds that the sketch has been running. That's what we're gonna show in this example. On the top, we have our NeoPixel array displaying what the Arduino believes are the number of seconds since the sketch has started. On the bottom, we have a stopwatch. And over time, you'll notice about a 10% difference accumulate between the two numbers. We'll skip forward here about 60 seconds into the video. You can see how far off the Arduino timer has gotten. Now we'll run the sketch again, changing only the pound includes to pick up the Accelerate library. The Accelerate NeoPixel library knows how to talk to the Accelerate hardware that we have in our FPGA. And that Accelerate hardware is able to communicate to the NeoPixels without any additional help from the microcontroller. The microcontroller is able to keep its interrupts enabled and keep the timer on time. Again, we'll skip forward a little bit in the video, and you can see even after a minute, we're still right on time. It's important not only for the timer that the sketch is running, but those interrupts are also used while communicating with other peripherals. So the capabilities of what you can do now have increased dramatically. Our next set of examples show what happens when you change the brightness settings in an Arduino controlling NeoPixels. Because of the tight timing, when you use the set brightness command in the Arduino library, it needs to go change all the pixel data out in memory. It isn't able to do any scaling on the fly as the data is being sent to the NeoPixels. This leads to a loss of precision, a loss of data, as your brightness is dimmed and then brought back up. On Arduino, changing the brightness changes the color data out in pixel memory, permanently losing some of that color data. In this demo, we're going to start with a pattern displayed on the NeoPixel array, cut it down to half brightness to show what half brightness should look like, and then restore to the full brightness level. Now as we gradually reduce the brightness, you're going to see a number of issues. First of all, the display did not come to the half brightness level that we saw before. It's completely different. A number of the pixels are turned completely off. The ones that had been orange have gone to red. The ones that had been yellow have gone to green. Errors are made at every step in the way as we're stepping down through the brightness levels. And those errors accumulate, driving some of the pixels away from mixed colors towards the primary colors and getting other pixels shut off entirely. We'll run through the example a couple of times, showing first full brightness, and then what half should look like, back to full brightness, and then fading to half with all the errors that you can see. Now let's repeat the example with the Accelerate hardware and library. We'll start at full brightness, show what half brightness should look like, return to full brightness, and now with the Accelerate NeoPixel hardware, smoothly fading to half brightness gives us the effect that we're expecting. The reason that Accelerate is able to do this is the FPGA hardware is fast enough to do the scaling that needs to be done on the fly as the pixel data is being sent out to the NeoPixel array. The color data in memory has not changed at all. When you reduce the brightness, we're still getting the same color data out of pixel memory, scaling it on the fly, and then sending it to the NeoPixel array. We're able to reduce the brightness all the way to zero and still return it back to the exact original image that had been stored in memory. It's not directly visible in these examples, but another advantage of the Accelerate NeoPixel hardware is that the pixel color memory is outside of the AVR's memory space. You're not constrained by the limited data memory size in an Arduino Uno because we're storing that color data in a separate memory. Our Accelerate NeoPixel library can support displays with up to 1,280 NeoPixels, far beyond anything that an Arduino Uno could do. The Accelerate NeoPixel library has a lot of power that we'll be able to take advantage of over time. But even now, we have three great advantages. We're not using the Arduino's data memory for pixel color storage. We do not have to disable interrupts while we're sending data out to the NeoPixel array. And changing the brightness does not corrupt the color data out in pixel memory. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing the projects you'll create.